Get me, I want you to get me this stuff. See, that and that, the two. Okay. Find them there, yeah? So we have to set the position here. So we need to drill a little bit of hole there so it's easy to screw later. It's called pilot, pilot holes. Huh? Pilot holes. Yes, yeah, pilot holes. Pilot holes help to guide your screw into the right place. And also make sure you get your settings right, that you have the setting on drill for the drill at this point. And the speed I set at one, so it's very slow speed, which I can control. Then when you start putting the screw, you set that to screw setting, so that becomes screw. But now I'm still drilling one more hole. Make sure the hole is not too deep, just, just to help the screw go in. And then the screw will do the rest because this is like compacted board made from uh, compacted uh, sawdust. So it's very easy for the screw to go through. Recycled uh, material, so yeah. very easy. So now you swap the drill bit for the screw. We'll get the screw in there as the screw I'm using. And um, I make sure I set this speed to one. I'm going slow and I adjust that into the screw position rather than the drill position. I'll still go to slow speed so it doesn't wear it out. Now it's time to put it. So usually uh, they would advise you to use a manual screwdriver, like a hand screwdriver for this. this uh, fitting but I'm using my powered screwdriver but I've got I've got everything at the lowest setting so it's more like a manual fit I do the two top ones first I do the two the, this one at the top which is much closer to the top and this one as well and then I put the upper ones and these ones are just to make sure it doesn't twist these two so I get this this four at the top in going with the highest one and alternate to this end come back put this one alternate to this end so with the lowest setting once the once the screw has reached the end when you try to keep screwing it just um, it doesn't continue anymore it just overrides it as you can see with the screwdriver it's not turning anymore but just overriding once it gets to the end as you can see so that's the advantage of using slow speed if i was using like a higher speed the torque from the screwdriver would just keep on turning the screw and then the screw will become loosed in the position so that's it so the items that will be going on top of this would be phone. a phone, a tablet, just Books. to charge it overnight, maybe a book if you were reading something. So we're not expecting anything heavy. In engineering terms, I would say this has been over designed because we've got two uh, solid brackets which we are using to hold this piece of wood that it's supposed to hold up just a phone overnight for charging or a tablet or two phones maximum or a tablet and the phone in one place um, or maybe one or two books so um, this has been really over designed it's uh, really designed to take more than that much more than that so we expect it to last a very long time 
So even if you if you were sleeping and you raise your hand or you hit it by mistake, it's not gonna break or knock something off. So um, it's uh, it's a really good construction. I prefer to have like a more robust build than build something that you in the future you'll be wishing you built it uh, more robust. Um, on top of this, we are hoping that we'll probably have and uh, like a material that is. Um, that has a lot of friction in it, anti-slip material, lay it over this top here. And when you put your phone, uh, the phone doesn't slip off because this is quite silk, silky. Uh, so it's possible that if you pull the phone while it's charging, if you pull the phone with the cable, if there's a cable here and there's a phone then you pull it, it might just fall off. But if the material on this surface is anti-slip material, then um, when you pull, like you pull the cord, of uh hold it with the phone on it it doesn't doesn't move away from from there it stays because it's refusing to move so you really have to take your hand over the top and grab it all right this is a view of uh, the brackets that have been fitted for holding the phones so this is very useful when you've got a bed and you haven't got space for side table on the left or on the on the right of the bed so that's what we've got in this situation so we've been able to fit those brackets and they fit really nicely over the the top of the bed it's not hitting your head it's not in the way in any way just in the corner so you can see the brackets which we have installed that's holding it so that's that's pretty much it and, uh, you can have a good night's sleep and have a bracket just by the side it really looks like it came with the with the cabinets, with the, the, the wardrobes, but it didn't come with it, we just installed that. So it's a good, good setup.